welcome back to my YouTube channel. And uh, it's a part two to my first video where we were drawing this um, robot, this obnoxious cartoonish robot, which just let the background disappear. Here it is, the robot that we've been drawing for the last uh, for the last two uh, for the last one episode. So in this video, we will be uh, come on. Come on. Thank you. Um, in this episode, we will be finishing totally the coloring of the robot, and we'll be moving on onto the background. <clears throat> okay. Let's just start, shall we? Okay. So, um, what do we have to do? Hold on a second. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so first we will, okay, okay, so we got this, we'll have to pick a color, because this is a farmland feel for, oh, god damn it, really, come on man, load quicker, thank you, because this background will be green, and painting the robot green will be stupid, because he will be, like, He'll be just like camouflaging with the environment. So my idea is that we should paint him um hmm, orange. Yeah. Imagine like a like a radio like you know the biohazard robot that is lost in the fields and that is adapted by the local citizens to work for them. I'm just like thinking of imagination at the top of my head, but you can like figure out this the backstory for yourself. Again, the color the color of the like uh, character would be could be whatever you want. Yeah. <clears throat> but I decided to do the what's the most appropriate. Again, you could it's not necessary for you to follow up with me. And to do the same field kind of vibe, you can just basically like um, do whatever you want, like a desert and stuff like that. All I did is just show you the base, like, like the road. Uh, just let's think load. My computer is so damn slow. Okay. Yeah. All I gave you is the idea that you can put something like. Like this, in a perspective. It's not necessarily it could, it could be a road. It could be just like a walk in the forest, and there could be like trees blocking the horizon in general. It could be whatever you want. Um, it's just that was my choice, my artistic choice. Really hope you, really hope you like this. And plus, um, I looked at my previous video, and it turned out to be too long just way too long and so I decided to make it a bit shorter for you guys because come on nobody wants to see a video that's like freaking 33 minutes long so that's why I set myself a timer so that then I could be get used to recording in 25 minutes it's already 20 minutes on the clock and stuff like that you know just being organized and stuff. Okay, look. So, our target here is to rub up the hat like this, like that. Like the the unnecessary face details. Okay, now he's a real farmer. Congratulations, um, um, hazmat. <laughs> Congratulations, hazmat robot that was signed off duty. Uh, okay, 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 okay. What's this? Oh, yeah, black color. Na, 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 na. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like to see more of my content. And leave a comment down in the section below. Like, because, you know, I'm very interested in your advice of what I can do 
for example, my my um, audio quality not the it's not the best one because I'm recording from a um, from a inner um, microphone that's in my laptop. And so I will try to improve on that, I don't know, maybe like, I will install programs to modify my voice and not make it look like I'm talking it into a, into a gas can. Yeah. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. 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 So, um, we need to color up, uh, color up the last two thingies, because the rest would be metallic. Would be grayish metal. oh, of course. The freaking face. And the, the, these details would be left, actually, yeah. That's just, yeah. That's it. That's better. Um, okay. So then we'll have to color in the parts that I left out. Oh, God. The parts that I left out on. Then, yeah, they must be colored in. And we're good to go. We are now good to start coloring the metallic parts using the fill in tool don't do not panic because then I'm gonna color in um, like the do the shadows without the, the you get it without the painting painting tool yeah okie dokie actually I pretty much like art I mean I may not be uh, I may not be the best artist of course, there are channels better than me, like uh, Draw with Jazza, and yeah, Draw with Jazza, I'll put the link in the description below. Pretty much like his content. He has like millions upon millions of subscribers because he really earned them. He like, he makes actual good art with challenges and stuff. Yeah. I know that it's the, the, the goal that that Jazza has, it's, for me, it's, at the moment, not even achievable, because I'm still on zero subs, and I have to have that in mind. I may be ambitious, but I have to be realistic. Yeah. And, I mean, so if you like my content, you might as well subscribe. I'm not saying anything, I think. Yeah. Uh, so how's your day, people? I'm like, how, how do you, how do you how do you feel about my art in general? Like, I may uh, do this channel because I feel like I have enough skills to simple to to do simple drawings, but not enough skill to like draw actual realistic stuff like millions of people on the internet do. But I mean, am I worth your time? Yeah, I, I, am I good? Yeah, and, um, are there things I can improve? Because if there is, then, again, comment down in the section below, the comment section below, and tell me what are the stuff that I have to improve. Because your feedback is very, very, very valuable to me. Very valuable. I really need it because I'm just starting, again, and I need some criticism to keep me powered up and going. <sighs> okay, so... This is a very tedious process of just constantly coloring the parts in the gray and the wires and stuff. Wait, what? Wait, what? Okay, look. Okay. It's a very, very, very tedious uh, process, and and yeah. Uh, what can I say? Else? Oh yeah. Uh, give me, uh, give me ideas of what can I draw in the next episode. 
I don't know. E even if I don't have any comments, I'll figure something out. Because, I mean, I don't want to die like in a matter of days. Like my previous attempts at making a YouTube video. I died like in, in a week or so. Because I worked myself out and plus, due to my social in insecurities, I really couldn't keep it going and being extroverted like you're supposed to be on this platform. God damn it. Again. Lagging, lagging, lagging again. Just as always. Come on, computer. I gotta finish this drawing before part three. Because I've realized that it this is gonna be a pretty pretty long project like I can do this in one sitting but when you talk alongside with the uh, sitting and doing it it's it turns into like an easy job into very very hard one because you have to explain every single step and take your time in doing stuff so okay which color will be the cap which color will be the cap um the cap will probably be brown Okay, he is a farmer, a typical farmer, and I will fill in the gray details. Okay, now that that's taken care of, we we are getting to the most interesting part right now we're very close to getting just gotta finish that hammer that's it oh yes another cornflake and the jaws sorry uh, excuse me um almost forgot about the important bits and bulbs corn and the blue 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 eyes Like vibrant neon blue eyes. Okay. Now that we've got the basic colors of the picture, all we have to do right now, and that's all we have to do, is add some shadows which are realistic. Have in mind that um, our sun is behind us and pointing on a downwards angle towards our objects. So, um,. To help us out on this one, um, like in, usually in art school, they taught us to draw a mini sun, like a mini sun to help us where the light is. But the problem is, if the sun is behind us, it's gonna be a problem, a bit problematic, right? Well, just draw a mini bracket here, a mini bracket here, pretending as if this is the sun, and it's. It has a pointing arrow, which means it's on an angle pointing down. That way, it's like, yeah, that way, um, it's like a way to show that mini sun, but behind us. That, at least that's the way I've learned it. You may have different ways. So yeah. First, we, uh, we need to, we need to like. Um, air like paint uh, bo blob it I just call it the paint blob and decrease a couple of colors and let's check this out yeah perfection wait what wait a second. hold on no 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 I'm doing the exact opposite I should in reality make a like go to a brighter color and then because it's metallic yeah that's what I'm talking about now we're talking now we're talking business okay so what was I saying okay because um, because this is a metallic color of course a metallic color will have a glimpse will have like a shine a terribly shiny shiny surface which this is what we have to do uh, because 
again the light is behind us so we have to add that glim behind us and then get get a darker color um actually i'm just gonna do it on the other one yeah okay do okay and then crap and then swap the colors and then just draw a little mini box signifying that we have a shadow of darkness in this man's in the part over here which s shows us that that the light is behind us again and I'm, I'm not, I don't want to repeat myself or anything you might as well increase the brush for this area yeah that's better like that and we have to do that thing on almost every single part of our robot's body very easily that's it take it easy Ah, oh, shit, getting those very, very good flashbacks of my little, little childhood. Okay, let's not get distracted on childhood memories. And let's get back to painting. So, yeah. I know it looks weird. Like, I know what you're just thinking right now. Andre, this is, uh, at, like, uh, Marlon Chick Warren, this is weird as hell. As living crap. This is weird. And, yeah, I know. It's weird. Even for me. I've did a lot of backwards shadows, and right now I'm getting a very unusual result. So it's also weird for me, so you might as well share the experience with me. Um, but, I'm telling you, if you color in, actually, isn't this a bit dark? Like, this would be okay? I think so. Yeah, that's better. That's better. Much better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. This is much better. It's not as radically dark as the previous color. Okay, man. Cool. Uh, so, we have to do this in every single part. Adding the metallic glimpses. As you all know, the metallic shines. The, the eye-polished metal until it's shiny and then squeaky shiny. That kind of vibe. Oh, the glim I'm just saying on the outside. Just just in case and so uh, if you uh, if you guys want to see me live stream I'm right now figuring out how to do a live stream at the moment I can't do that but um, as a future perspective would it be perhaps good for you guys for me to start live streaming I don't know because um, usually people that live stream they usually play video games whilst I just draw random uh, slightly crappy art which uh, I'm trying to do it with a sense of humor and perhaps learn you very very simple things like I am again I am not a teacher I am not a um, art teacher that finished uh, different faculties and stuff like that I did not do any of that and oh god we gotta do we gotta do quick shadows right now um, I did not finish any faculty I did not finish any art college to do this stuff I'm just I just like to draw in my free time and perhaps maybe you will find interested interest oh, no, no, no. we definitely don't want that um, or maybe it maybe you will find interest in the same thing I'm doing j because of me or because of other artists that you may look uh, as well as looking at me I don't know man like like again, Jazza, and there are loads of other talented people that I s I don't really remember them, but they draw they draw a lot of fan art, and it's cool. It's pretty awesome. Like those 
fan artists that dedicate their arts to their favorite streamers, vloggers, YouTubers. It they draw so good. Like what every time I look at the videos of like looking at my fan art kind of videos, you know, every YouTuber makes them every every one you know, every once in a while. Um they're so good. Like these people are really talented. Even though they're claiming to not go to art school, still they're they're pretty talented. They they have uh, they have a gift in art, and um, I'm not gifted. As you can see by my art, I am not very gifted. But again, I like to do what I do. I have a passion, and I'm learning as well as doing these things. Learning with practice and with uh, yeah, with by experimenting. That's what I do. Yeah. Okay. Soon we're gonna be done with those shadows and stuff. And then we will. Come on, man. Really? Do I really have to paint you? Come on. Yeah. So. When we are done. And when and we are gonna be close to done, all we have to do is now color in the metallic bits and bobs, which are pretty much easier than the orange because you don't have to look for the perfect tone. You just have, uh, you just have everything illustrated in the color control panel. And you can like straight up look at what's what's what, and then pick your color. Unlike in here, where everything is blent in and confusing yeah so do, do you like do you like this idea of a simplistic robot if you do then smash like and comment uh, and comment on what precisely do you like about this if you don't then you can make suggestions in the comment section and tell me what can I paint next yeah that's pretty dumb to expect from a channel with zero subs, but <laughs> again, you could come here stumbling across the internet and you just casually see my video. So, if you are one of those people, thank you very much for spending your time and then lasting as long as something. Because usually, when people see small channels, they're like, nah, man, gonna pass, man. I don't need this thing. I really don't need this. And then they just pass. And if you made it this long, this, this far in the video, then congratulations. I have my hats off in front of you. I'm, you're such a good person, man. And I really tolerate that. <clears throat> okay. That took a very long while. But we've got the... Um, we've got the, um, the details done, and now it's time to do the metallic uh, glimpses, metallic parts that are meant to shine bright like a diamond. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now the metallic shine looks much better than the orange shine. That just looks like a bunch of bruises. Yeah, but I mean, uh, no matter if they look like bruises, because yours will most likely also be looking like bruises. And I have nothing against that, because everyone has to begin with something. I mean, I'm not beginning, but I'm... Uh, considered to be a beginner because I did not go to anywhere to study that. I'm just freelancing on my own. Yeah. The hammer and the sickle. The 
The symbols of the Soviet Union. Okay, Doc. Okay, Doc. Diddly Doc. Oh, wait. Oh, guys, we're, we're running out of time. But no worries. Because I'm gonna be done in a couple minutes' time. And I will show you the final result of the robot. And you're gonna like it. Like, yeah, I, I, uh, I'm, um, so what was I about to say? Of course, yeah, people, I, I really hope that you liked the video. Sorry for my stuttering, sorry for the loud computer, sorry for every single thing, but again, I'm just starting, I'm doing it off script, as you might have noticed by my endless, um, um, eh. Uh, I will work on my script, but it's just I really don't know what to say when it comes to uh, teaching people. Like I I know what to say because I know what to do, but I not really exactly know like when to say it. So that's why I have issues with making a script. But I'll figure this out. For uh, fortunately, like I mean, eventually we'll figure this out. I'll try my best to improve my content because again. If you don't improve your viewer, uh, my viewers, or if you're taking it as a tip top, um, your your viewers will get bored and they will start to hate your content because you don't improve. You're just a stalemate, and you don't want that to happen because you know you don't want to lose you, the audience and the community that you are spending so much time and effort gaining over your like oh like and start the thing that you're doing YouTube you really don't want to lose these people because these people are the people that are gonna support you in your journey of course other than your parents and your friends and family because these people will support you no matter what but the community is uh, always comes like after them because they're the most proud uh, the, they're the most loyal people that you will ever have uh, that you will like have on your YouTube channel because your community, personally to me, to my opinion, is everything. Your community equals you, uh, equals you. Your community is what you build and what you do. That's my thought. It's not I don't necessarily think that some people will share the same thought as me, but that's what I think is right, and that's the the effort that I'm gonna follow. Okay, we've got the farmer bot ready and running with the shadows, and in part three we'll be going on. We'll be going on to clearing out like because this is a rough sketch again. We'll be going towards making this background very cool, luminous, and pretty awesome because that's what you want your art to artwork to be. You want it to be awesome and lively and you want it the the your artwork to be as good as possible thank you very much for um join me in uh, joining me in this journey i pr i really really ap uh, appreciated it thank you so much leave a like subscribe turn on notifications and Visit my Instagram. The link is in the description below. The channel of my uh, the channel Draw with Jazz. I mean, it's pretty big. You can search it up. Uh, yeah, and I will leave the the link on my previous video also in the description. Thank you and bye bye.